Hello, everyone. Thanks for joining us this morning, and welcome to this educational presentation of Four Simple Steps to Becoming a More Consistent Trader. Now, in today's educational webinar, I'm going to share with you a simple process to becoming more and more consistent, <coughs> excuse me, and to be able to define and filter out what the best trades of the day should be by using our special scanner. For example, as we look at this older chart here in EL, you see that we had a really straight up market. How could we have taken advantage of that? Well, I'm going to share with you today a simple process where you could have been able to identify all of these up signals. As well, as we look at a current chart of Facebook right here, as it's been going straight down, I'm going to share with you the simple four-step process where you could have identified and picked out which sell signals you wanted to take in advance of the next day. <coughs> Excuse me. And this is all going to be done really simply and really easily on our new platform. This is the PTS Primo Charting Platform I developed with Pro Trader Strategies. We feel it's the educational portal that makes trading really simple. So, welcome once again. My name is Stephen Primo. I'm the president and founder of Specialist Trading. Nine years ago, I teamed up with Pro Trader Strategies with one goal in mind, and that is simply to educate you as a trader because we feel that's what miss that's what's really missing in most traders' uh, daily lives. Basically. They're making their decisions not based off sound fundamental education and consistent techniques, but based off what someone or something is telling them to do. So our goal is to put the power back in your hands, to have you be in charge of your own trading destiny. And the only way you can do that is by educating yourself. This is what we supply to all of our members around the world in over 115 countries and in virtually every state in the United States. So you'll see today how much attention we give to really educating you by this simple four-step process. Now, before we begin, as always, we are required to show you this by law, so please take a moment to view our disclaimer. I'm going to show you some performance results using this process, but please remember that we can in no way guarantee that any of the results I'm about to share with you will be repeated in the future. And also, please remember that all examples are strictly, again, for educational purposes only. Also, I'd like to take this time to invite each and every one of you to follow us on Twitter. There's our handle right there. You may want to copy that down, abbreviation for specialist trading. I post different things on a daily basis, anywhere from financial wisdom to actual signals that our strategies have generated. So lots of great free educational information on Twitter. Okay, so as I stated earlier, we are a little bit different from other companies in that our only goal is simply to teach you, to educate you. Right, we're not here to promise you that you're going to make a million dollars in the next decade or that you're going to be able to afford that dream home or retire in six months. We don't believe in that because that has to come from you. That's why 80% of most traders fail because they're not making their own decisions. So we want you to be in charge of your trading, and this is what we do. We educate you so that our goal is not to force feed you signals. Our goal is not to tell you what to trade or how to trade. Our goal is simply to teach you how to trade with the specialist edge. It's the same edge that was taught to me some four decades ago when I first started trading, and hopefully it will be able to sustain you for the next four decades. Now, since this is an educational presentation, I do want to take your questions, but please wait till the end of today's class to ask any questions. I promise I'll get to each and every one of them. Uh, the only question I will answer is the most common, and that is, is this being recorded? Yes, it is. So if you have to leave early or if you're having technical issues, we will supply each and every one of you with a link to this recording. So once again, if you're having difficulties, kindly uh, write them down or remember them, and I promise I'll get to them at the very end. All right, with that said, let's begin. Now, we wanna talk about strategy number four. This is one of our most consistent strategies. It can be uh, generating signals in any market or any time frame. So this is what we're gonna be focusing on today. Let's give you some of the highlights of this particular strategy. It's for virtually all traders, from beginners to advanced traders. It's basically designed for traders looking to catch quick momentum moves. That's the way it was designed 41 years ago when I first learned about it on the floor because I was trading in and out of positions five, 10 minutes at a time. But trust me, you can trade it if you are an investor, if you are a swing trader, you can hold on to it for weeks, for months. It makes no difference. We teach you in the course how to apply it to any time frame in any direction you want. And you can hold on to it as long as you want and trade it in any uh, uh, time frame. Now, its intensity level is a very moderate number two. So if you're uh, the type of trader that is, uh, you know, wants to be in front of your computer but doesn't want to be tied down in 24-7 watching it, it's a very moderate two setting. It only uses one indicator, and we're going to share with you what that is. 
It can be applied, as I said earlier, to any time frame, any direction, and any market. So it makes no difference what type of trader you are. If you're an intraday trader, if you're a swing trader, or an investor, you can use strategy number four. Now, members of the strategy four course receive automatic buy and sell indications on our platform and through our add-ons, but they are strictly there for educational purposes only, a ways and means in which to check your work. Because remember, we want to give you all the rules and share with you exactly what the requirements are to generate a strategy number four buy signal. We don't just wanna make this into a system and force feed you signals so that you have no idea what they're based off of. The reason why we supply you with automatic buy and sell arrows on the platform is so that you can check your work. So that if you see that a signal has been generated, you can check to see if you're in line with it. Now our edge at Specialist Trading and Pro Trader Strategies is consistency. This means that you will have losses from time to time. That's okay. There's nothing wrong with experiencing losses. What's wrong is if you have a method or strategy that you have no idea what it's based off of and it goes into a sustained drawdown, then you're basically uh, you know, just uh, flying blind there and you have no idea what to do. We want you to understand what's behind this strategy and understand that it will, uh, you know, have losses from time to time, but that's okay. It's very consistent. Okay, so with that said, now that you have a little bit of a background and highlights of the strategy, let's begin with the actual presentation. We're going to take you step by step through this process to see how you can be a more consistent trader. Okay, step one. Obviously, you want to choose the market you're interested in buying. Now, this goes without saying. Someone will say, well, what do you mean choose the market? I thought this trades on all markets. Well, we're just saying this because we know not everyone is a stock trader and not everyone trades futures and not everyone trades currency pairs. So just pick whatever market you'd like, whatever time frame. It makes absolutely no difference. So for this experiment, we're just going to uh, use an older chart of EL, that chart we looked at before that was going straight up. Now, how could we have taken advantage of this? It's easy to say in hindsight that we wanted to be a buyer, but how could we have known this in advance that this was going to go higher? Well, it takes us to step two. We want to click on the buy sell line in the upper green strategy tab of our platform. Remember, this is all done on our platform. And we make it extremely simple for you through this process. So once you've uh, you know generated a chart, <clears throat> excuse me, click on the buy sell line, as you see here in the upper left hand corner, and you'll get different categories or different features in which to apply the buy sell line, which is simply the 50 period moving average. Let's click on our most recent feature, which is the fluid buy sell line. And you can see that automatically changes the colors from blue to a reddish orange. Now, what does this mean? Well, this means that when price is in the bluish background, you're in the buy zone, or in other words, you should have a buyer's bias. If price is in the red orange, you should have a seller's bias. So right now, looking back, all the way back to February 2017, we knew that we should have a buyer's bias in EL because price was in the blue background zone. All right, now this doesn't mean you simply buy at the market because you don't know how high or how long this will last, but it means that you automatically know what side of the market to be on. You shouldn't be selling this at all. You should only be a buyer's, uh, have a buyer's point of view. All right, so how do we add some structure in the form of a strategy? Well, here's the buy zone, here's the sell zone. Now we wanna to go to step three and only trade buy signals that have a steep upward sloping buy sell line. So this is where we start to add some structure. When we say, upward slope, we mean this slope right here. We've noticed, and a lot of our students have gotten back to us, that these are where some of the most consistent setups are generated, when you have a very strong upward slope, as we have here. That just means you have strong momentum. I mean, picture a, a river. If you want to uh, you know, row or canoe down a river, uh, what would be more advantageous, to go down a river that has no momentum, that basically is like a pond, or to be going down a river with some nice current behind it, with some nice uh, flow behind it? That's what you're looking for, and it's the same thing when you're trading with the fluid by sell line. All right, so now that we've identified where that strong slope is, we go to step four. We're going to click on strategy four in the upper green strategy tab right here. All you have to do is click on strategy four, and as you can see, it gives you several options. We just want to click on the signal arrows because this will tell us after we review our work where the signals were generated. And look at all the buy signals that were generated. You could have taken advantage of any or all of these. It's entirely up to you. Remember, you are in charge. But once again, we teach you exactly why these signals were generated. This is not a black box where you just simply buy where there's a green arrow and sell where there's a red arrow. You are knowing exactly what generated that buy signal. 
That's how simple this four step process is. Now let's see if you wanted to be a seller. We have seen lately that the market has really been in a downtrend. Can we take advantage of this with a downward move? All right, step one, once again, choose the market you're interested in. In this case, we're looking at OC. In hindsight, it's been going sideways to lower. Could we have taken advantage of this? Well, step two, we click on the buy sell line in the upper green strategy tab. As we can see here, it's in the upper green strategy left-hand corner. We click on fluid once again, and automatically the screen changes colors. And we see that from the beginning of this chart, even when the stock was basically going in a, a little sideways to lower range, we've been in the sell zone. So from the very beginning, there's no way we should have been buying this. Even when we made lows here and started to bounce a little bit, those should have been looked at as shorting and selling opportunities as opposed to actually buying and once again, you would only buy if we were in the blue background zone. Now we go to step three. We're only going to trade sell signals that have a steep downward sloping buy sell line. This is where we have the strong momentum. This is where the current is, is flowing very strongly. So as we see right here, we kind of were going sideways to lower, but this is where the momentum really kicked in and we started to get that nice downward slope. And then step four, the final step is to click on strategy four in the upper green strategy tab. Click that on. If you are a student of the course, you would be able to spot automatically after you've studied through careful research and study where the signals are. But in order to check your work, you click on strategy four, click on signal arrows, and you would see all of the different cell setups you could have taken advantage of. Okay. All right. So let's look at some Strategy number four examples. We'll look at some older ones that are a couple of months old, and we'll look at some recent ones that happened within the last week, okay? Coming up to this past uh, week in December. An important thing to uh, follow here, this is something that's been reported back to us from our students, and we've noticed this ourselves, but we, it's been reported that some of the most consistent setups are signals that are generated closest to or touching the buy sell line. So even though this isn't a requirement, even though this isn't something uh, that you have to follow, we would uh, suggest that you look at this, and I'll show you a number of examples where signals are far away from the uh, uh, buy sell line and also ones that are very close to the buy sell line. You can choose for yourself which ones you could want to take because remember, we're giving you this information as an educational uh, process here, and you can pick and choose and decide for yourself which signals you'd rather take. So as we look at this right here, we see in this older chart of M, we see that we had one sell signal and one buy signal. And obviously, this sell signal would not have worked. But a way to filter that out is what the students have reported back to us. Look at the slope of the buy sell line. The slope is going up. So this is where you wouldn't want to go short. Remember, if you're selling, you want to sell with a strong downward slope that's touching the buy sell line. All right. This slope is going up. <coughs> Excuse me. So that's not a signal you would want to take. So you most likely would not have taken that. Now you wait and you see that you have a much stronger upward slope and there is a buy signal either touching to or right next to it. So that would have been the setup to take and you can see it was much more advantageous. Here's a chart in UTX coming up until this last week. Now you see a number of sell signals were generated, but look at this last one that was generated just a few weeks ago. We had a downward slope and it was touching intersecting the fluid buy sell line. Don't you think that would have been a nice signal to take as the very next day it gapped down and has continued to go lower and lower. This was uh, taken up until uh, yesterday. How about the QQQs? Here's an older chart of the QQQs as it was going up uh, during the end of summer. Some buy signals were given here, but as you can see, they didn't work out very well. It's more advantageous at times to take the signals that are closest to or touching the rising fluid buy sell line as we saw right here. Here's an example in Tiffany. Once again, price is in the sell zone, so you're only going to have a seller's bias. And look at all the chances you could have sold here. Some examples are much better than others, but the ones that touched or intersected the buy-sell line were the ones that were the most advantageous. This was coming into this last week as well. How about an older chart of FISV? Two really nice buy signals as they intersected or got very close to touching the strong upward slope of the buy sell line. Now, these ones, most likely, if you wanted to be more conservative, would not have taken. Not to say that they wouldn't have been profitable, but these are the ones that have been reported back to us that have a high level of consistency. 
As we look at when here, we have a strong downward slope, and we got close to this strong downward slope. But in this case, we never really touched it or intersected it, and, and uh, these signals seem to work very well, the ones that we're closest to. Letter S, okay, this is an inexpensive stock, as you can see, I believe only about a, a $6 stock, but the same process applies. We have a strong upward slope. Price is in the uh, buyer's bias zone. So as we have a four signal to buy, this is touching the upward slope. If you've taken advantage of that, you could have made a nice percentage on your inexpensive stock purchase. GS, as we see here, this is a very strong downward slope. You had numerous opportunities to go short here at the top and then another one right here towards the end of summer to go short. To see how the fluid buy sell line will keep you out of trouble many times. It's not guaranteed, but it's the most consistent thing I know of, of getting you on the right side of the market. Remember, the buy sell line is not a strategy. It does not tell you whether you should be buying or selling. It simply tells you what side of the market you should have a bias on. So in other words, you'll have a higher level of consistency if you're only looking to sell here as opposed to buying. Do you think you would have made much money trying to buy all the way here? You would have had to have been very quick because the, the rallies were few and short-lived. It's much easier to distinguish where the selling points are and take advantage of those in a downward sloping market. Letter K, this is the textbook example. We have a strong rising slope. Price is in the blue bias zone, and we have our signal intersecting the upward bias. So this is a nice buy area right here at 70 and went up a quick four or five points in the next couple of weeks. Letter T, the exact same example, but on the opposite side of the spectrum. Here is price well below the downward sloping fluid buy sell line. And look at all the sell opportunities you had. Once again, if you had tried to take advantage of any buying opportunities in your strategy or your system, you most likely would have had to been very quick to make money or probably would have lost. It's so much easier to look for these setups that are close to or touching the downward sloping buy sell line and just take advantage of them. And, and trading is a lot simpler and you'll sleep a lot better at night knowing that you're in sync with the overall trend. HPQ, another textbook example of a rising slope. Now here we intersected and we saw that we had a couple of closes below the buy sell line, but that's okay. Our strategy number four buy signals were both generated and closing above. And so that's still fine. We still have a nice upward slope. So there were still nice signals you could have taken advantage of. Now here's a, a recent chart of Facebook coming up until tomorrow. Once again, this did not get close to touching the strong downward slope, but you were uh, you know, uh, presented with a numerous ways in which to get short here in August, another way to get short here at the end going into September, more in September, and then the last few days, two more sell signals were generated this past week. So we'll see how those pan out in the future. And we look at CME. This is a current chart of CME coming into this past week. While Facebook is going straight down, we have other stocks and other markets that are going straight up. Price is above the 50 period moving average in CME. We have a numerous buy signals generated, but look at the ones that were closest to or touching the rising buy sell line. Those would have been the most advantageous ones to take. Now we can also do this in different time frames. I don't want you to think that it can only be applied to daily bars. Let's look at a weekly chart of Apple. This is an older chart of Apple. The same process applies all on our platform. All you have to do is click on the weekly mode and the chart will appear with the buy sell line, the fluid buy sell line. You'll see the weekly bars either in the, the buyer zone or the seller zone. On a weekly chart, we're in the buy zone. So the same process applies. We click on strategy four to get the signals and we would uh, take the ones that were closest to or touching the rising fluid buy sell line if we wanted to have those high probability setups. That's a weekly chart of Apple. Here's a weekly chart of GE. The exact same process except for uh, a stock in the sell zone. So many people have wondered why GE has been going lower and lower. Well, we, for our uh, you know, process, we really don't care. We just go with whatever the market wants to do. We don't question if the market wants to go higher or if it wants to go lower. There's no reason to do that, to overcomplicate your trading. Just simply figure out what the market wants to do and then jump on board. So right here in January of 2017, almost a couple of years ago, GE had consecutive weekly bar closes below the fluid buy sell line. So what's the market telling us? It's telling us it wants to go lower, that the overall trend right now is down. 
So if the overall trend is down, if price is in the reddish orange zone, you don't want to be a buyer. And don't you think that was a great warning up here, roughly around $30? Now the stock is in the teens. Okay. And then if you wanted to actually short it or go short, maybe buy some protective uh, long-term puts or some type of long-term spread strategy. Well, you could have gotten short here and here, another one here, and even more along the ways as it went down lower and lower. Here's a monthly chart of the spiders. Okay. This was taken up until uh, the end of August. As we can see, the same process applies. Uh, this is what our students report back to us, a perfect example, where it will generate signals, but oftentimes the ones that are in the middle of the buyer's bias zone are not the ones that you may want to take. They have suggested waiting for price to come down to or touch the rising fluid buy sell line, which would have been this one right here in February of 2016. That was about three years ago. So it makes no difference if you're a day trader, an investor, or a swing trader. Here's a one hour chart if you're an intraday trader of Facebook, okay? All you have to do is click on the hourly chart here, apply the same process of the fluid buy sell line and click on the strategy four signals and the same process can be applied to any market, any time frame, any direction. All right, now let's look at news because we always tend to hear students say, well, Steve, but what about when a news event comes out? Should I, should I not trade it or should I get out automatically? Well. It's not guaranteed, but it's been our experience that oftentimes the market will tell you in advance what it wants to do before a news report. For example, we see here that earlier in the year, JCPenney plunged to lowest level since the Great Depression uh, due to all the uh, wider than expected full year loss and posted disappointing results. And so it was just terrible earnings and just terrible news about the company. And if we look at the chart, this is when this came out at the end of uh, summer here in August, about three months ago, the terrible news, okay? Now, this is the way most traders or investors will look at this and say, boy, this is terrible. Uh, I can't get out now. I guess I'll buy more. Or if they were thinking about, uh, you know, selling, they say like, well, I guess I'll sell now. This is terrible. Well, how could this four step process have helped us? Well, if you were long JCPenney, all you have to do is click on the buy sell line, click on the fluid feature. And then you would automatically have seen that we were well ahead in the sell zone well before this news came out months before this news came out, telling you that you should not be buying this, that the overall trend is down, all right? How did the market know this? The earnings were terrible. They were uh, released late, six months later in the year. The market many times will tell you in advance which the overall direction is. So there's no need to wait for news if you don't want to. So the market was telling us already, you know, uh, you know, uh, a third of its price higher that it wanted to go lower. So if that's the case, we find that we have this really strong downward slope. And then we just apply strategy four, look for signal arrows, and look at all the sell signals that could have given you a chance to get out. Or if you were wanted to really go short, I know most people wouldn't want to short a $3 stock, but just to sell, tell you how negative this was well in advance of the news. Now, sometimes the news is good, as the New York Post reported that Nike stock hit an all-time high on an analyst upgrade. So once again, this is the way most traders trade. They'll hear this good news and say, boy, I've got to get a part of that. I've got to take charge and uh, I'll buy Nike. All right. So as we look at the chart, here's where most students would have jumped in. All right. Off that great news, great earnings. A lot of analysts love the stock. But could you have taken advantage of it down here, well before the news came out, all right? It was uh, roughly 82, 83 when the news came out. How about getting uh, along roughly about 10 points lower? Well, we apply the process again, the buy sell line, click on the fluid feature, and we see that Nike has been telling us months in advance that it wanted to go higher. So there's no reason to ever think of not buying Nike, but we can't just buy at the market. We have to apply some structure, and we have a very nice, strong upward slope here. So. If you're a student of the course and you've studied and researched it, you would know exactly just looking at this chart where strategy four signal is. I can look at this chart and tell you where all the strategy four signals are. And in order to check your work as a beginning student, you'd click on strategy four, click on signal arrows, and you'd see a number of arrows appear. As our students have reported, you would be more interested in the one that's closest to or touching the buy sell line, as you can see right there. That would have been the one to take advantage of. So you could have gone long a full month a full month in advance of that news report that it was you know, being favored by some analysts. So why would you wait for the news to come out when you could have taken charge yourself weeks, if not months in advance? 
Remember, I said at the very beginning of this presentation, it's our belief that the reason why most traders fail is because you've taken yourself out of the game. You've not been supplied with the proper information and education, so you rely on someone or something else to tell you how to trade. Well, this is what we do at uh, Pro Trader Strategies and Specialist Trading. We provide you with that information. We fill that gap so that you don't have to rely on an outside source so that you can make your trading decisions based off what you've learned and have that confidence for the very first time to be in charge of your own trading. Now, what about different markets? Okay, we focused on stocks, on different time frame for stocks. Let's look at gold, all right? A lot of people trade commodities or ETFs of commodities. Gold in this chart was coming down straight till the end of August into uh, September. How could we have taken advantage of this? The same process, we apply the fluid buy sell line. We see that gold has been in the buyer, or should say seller's bias for months. So there's no reason to buy gold until it went in the blue zone. And then you just apply the sell signals. So we had a couple here very close to the buy sell line. We had another one close here. So there were different ways you could have taken advantage of shorting gold if you wanted to. How about the E-mini S&P? A lot of traders like to trade intraday. Here's a 30-minute chart of the E-mini. Someone looking at this would say, well, Gus, Steve, you know, it went straight up on this 30-minute time frame, then went straight down. I mean, how can you trade this without getting whipsawed? Well, you apply the fluid by sell line, and as you can see, as it was going up, there was a really nice, strong upward slope. So all you have to do is click on strategy four. You could have taken advantage of any of these buy signals. And once the trend changed, well, now you simply apply all of the sell signals. It's that simple. Now, we're not saying that every trade is going to be a winner. Remember I said uh, you will have losses from time to time. There were a couple of buy signals up here that would not have generated much gains or most likely would have had you stopped out. But consistency means you have a method that's many times able to recoup those losses quicker than later. So as you see, if you continued on, you would have been able to get back into the race and make that money back by selling. We can also apply this to the currency pair market, to Forex exchange, all right? Here's a chart, a four-hour chart of the euro dollar. We can see on a four-hour basis, it's been going much lower. How could we have taken advantage of this and not found out that, well, gosh, why did I buy this and think it was bottoming out here when it went lower? You apply the fluid buy sell line, and why would you buy it if it's in the sell zone? There's no reason to buy it. So you just apply strategy four, and you can see that you had a number of ways to actually go short rather than try and pick a bottom. You see, it's a gambling mentality to try and pick tops and bottom. It is a professional trader's mentality to go with the overall trend. Okay, so let's recap before we go into question and answer portion for today. Remember, step one, choose your market. And the reason why we say that is because you can virtually choose any market now. Our platform offers you data for currency pairs, for commodities, for Bitcoin, for futures. Uh, for mutual funds, for most of the major markets, the Indian market, the uh, Canadian markets. So we, we supply you with all that, different time frames, different directions. So just choose whatever market you're interested in. We can provide you with that. And then once you have step one completed, then you click on step two. Click on the buy sell line. That's in the upper green strategy tab. That will give you four different options. Simply click fluid. And the fluid buy sell line will change the back of the screen to either uh, a bluish color or a reddish orange. The bluish is the buy zone. The reddish orange is the sell zone. You only want to be buying if the background is blue, the background of price is blue, or if the background of the price is red, then you only want to be selling. All right. This is our fluid feature. That You can only find this at Pro Trader Strategies and Specialist Trading uh, P, uh, PTS Primo charting platform. This is one of our most popular as well as our most powerful features we have. And then lastly, click on strategy four. It's that simple. We now, we, once again, we want you to understand and learn this process, but use the up arrows and the down arrows as a way to check your work. After you've studied it for a while, just the way I've studied it for 41 years, you won't need the up and down arrows. You'll be able to see automatically when a signal has been generated. Remember, this was all purposely put together simply and easily one click away on the PTS Primo charting platform. We designed it with that in mind to make trading simple. We didn't want you to go to a platform and after five minutes of finally figuring out how to load a chart, sit there and go like, I have no idea what I'm supposed to do here. We want to make it simple. And this simple four-step process will get you on the road to consistency in your trading. All right, so we have a great 
discount, a great offer for all the people taking time out of their Wednesday morning. Okay, we have a great attendee discount today. We're going to offer you strategy number four. This is instant course access. You're going to get de detailed instruction. This comes with 15 video course lessons. You're going to learn all the entries, all the exits, all the stops, so you'll know exactly when you look at a chart where a signal has been generated. Remember, you can apply this to any market and any time frame, but we're going to include some special bonuses with this. We're not going to just say, well, strategy number four. We're also going to include six months of our PTS Primo Charting Platform free. This is a nearly $900 value. You're getting this totally free. Now, let me share with you some of the things that are offered on our PTS Primo Charting Platform. You're going to get, obviously, strategy number four, where everything is one click away. You'll get the automatic up and down uh, educational signal arrows. You'll get our enhanced buy sell line feature. That's the fluid buy sell line, along with three other features in which to view the buy sell line. You're going to get a great new tool we have, which is our strength of trend tool. This is a tool that will automatically define if a trend is running out of gas or it still has strength. It's a really great tool that we have on the platform now. But one of the great bonuses we have, another bonus we have with this uh, special discount today is our signal scan. Because you'll be able to scan for this four step process in a matter of minutes on a nightly basis. Let me show you how simple it is. Once you go to strategy four, okay, you see you can click on the signal air indicators or the arrows, I should say, but at the very bottom of the uh, down menu here, the drop down menu is a scan feature. Just click that on and you'll see this window up here next to your chart. All right, this is our scanner for strategy number four. What you wanna do next is click on load symbols and we provide you with a list of symbols. The page will appear at showing you which symbols you want to apply. It can be the S&P, the NASDAQ, currency pairs, futures, commodities, whatever one you want to see for that day. In fact, it can be a, a symbol list of uh, your basket of stocks that you currently watch. Once you click that on, you'll see the list of whatever symbols you chose here. I believe this is the NASDAQ 100. And then it's as simple as clicking on scan. In less than a minute, you'll see a series of green and red horizontal bars. The green bars simply mean that there is a buy signal in the corresponding stock. The red bars mean that there is a sell signal for the next day in the corresponding stock. Now, let's say I had given this presentation a couple of weeks ago and you had the uh, full capability of using this scanner. You became a member of this uh, great attendee discount. You could have scanned for a setup in GM. As we see here, this was a couple of weeks ago in GM. We had Price in the sell zone, and a very nice signal was generated right here. But as price went up above, we are now fully in the buyer's bias. So we're looking for price to touch that rising uh, fluid buy sell line. And a signal was generated, I believe, on the 15th. Okay, another one the next day on the 16th. But you would have most likely taken that one that intersected the rising uh, fluid buy sell line. And look at the nice move you had. While the market's going lower, GM is going higher. Okay, this was the last couple of weeks. But... What if you purchased this a couple of days ago? Well, you could have scanned and seen that there are some nice signals in URBN and Urban, a great signal to go short here. That was in September. A few more to go short right here at the beginning of November. And guess what? This was generated yesterday on the 4th of December. So we'll see how that pans out. If you were able to scan this last night, you would have seen that there is a sell signal at the end of the day that you could have gotten short or waited to go short on uh, the next day, which would be Thursday, tomorrow. This is all included with the free six months of the PTS Primo Charting Platform. Now, we know we have over 90 technical indicators with a technician's uh, bias. Uh, so we, we most likely like to look at technical anal uh, analysis. But if you have uh, an inclination to look at news, to look at economic reports, we supplied you with free Bloomberg TV. This is on our platform. It's as simple as clicking on the media page and automatically you'll see live Bloomberg TV, any economic report, any announcement, any news as it's coming in and happening live, you'll be able to see it and click it on immediately on the media page. And lastly, this comes with personalized tech support. If for any reason you have difficulty loading a chart or putting together uh, you know, any of the strategies, you can always contact our tech support and they'll be right there. Let's break this down. Let's show you exactly what you're getting and how much money you're saving on this great deal, okay? This is our discount today. You're getting the 15 video course and rules manual. This is a $695 value. But you're also getting as a bonus the free strategy scanner along with the PTS Primo charting indicator add-ons. This is another $695 value. 
But we're not stopping there. You're also getting free real-time PTS Primo charts for six months. This is an $882 value. All right, all of these bonuses are included in our special discount today. If you took them separately and added them all up, you would normally be paying close to $2,300. But don't worry, we're not going to charge you that. We're not even going to come close to that. We're going to slash the price by close to 80%. We're only going to charge you $495. That's it. You save nearly 80% or over $1,700. Close to $1,800 you will be saving. This is probably one of our best discounts we've had of the year. You're getting our 15 video course rules and manual. You're getting the free strategy scanner along with the indicator add-ons and you're getting the PTS Primo charting platform for six months free, real time free. Normally $2,300, roughly only $495. Along with this, which I didn't mention, you're also getting educational correspondence with yours truly. If for any reason, you uh, have trouble uh, understanding what the process is, or you want to talk with someone about the markets, you can email me and I'll get back to you ASAP. So this is all included in this special $4.95 discount. Trust me, a year from today, you will have wished you took this course. What if someone had told you at the beginning of 2018 that you could have taken this course with the platform, with the real-time uh, PTS Primo charts, with the scanner and the add-ons, and all the examples I showed you this past year, you could have potentially taken advantage of. Wouldn't you have wished that you could have taken this a year ago? Well, you're getting that second chance. It's time to start 2019 in the right direction. So don't sit there at the end of 2019 or the beginning of 2020 saying to yourself, gosh, why didn't I take that course? My trading is even worse this year than it was the year before. Do yourself a favor, end 2018 in the right direction and start out 2019 in the right direction. Here's how to take advantage of this great offer, okay? Contact Pro Trader Strategies. They designed uh, the uh, and developed the uh, platform with myself. You can contact them for more questions or questions about the discount or for possibly a payment plan at area code 310-598-6677. Now that link below is the link that will take you to the sign up play page to get that great discount. But if it, it, you see it's not a live link, but if you copy and paste that onto your browser, uh, you will be able to go there. A way to do it easier is just simply to go to the chat box on the far right-hand corner here on the Go to Webinar page. You'll see the chat box. We have uh, uh, posted a live link, the same link you see on the screen there. It's been posted. So all you have to do is click that on, and it will take you automatically to the sign-up page. So I promise that I would take any questions that you had. If you have any questions right now, now is the time to ask. And once again, this is a great, great offer. I cannot stress uh, what a great discount this is, nearly 80% discount. I, I really don't know of a lot of, uh, you know, uh, packages that are this powerful that, uh, you know, have this much consistency that have been discounted 80%. We're doing this in good faith to really get you on board to help you finish 2018 strong, okay? Uh, someone's asking, can this work on commodities? Yes, it can. If you're a commodity trader, I know a lot of people are leaving the stock markets or leaving the futures markets and going into something a little bit more tangible like commodities. I see some of the best setups in these in commodities because like currency pairs, they trend the best and they will really go in a strong direction. So if you're uh, many times trading soybeans or, or trading, uh, let's say something like gold or silver, they will trend tremendously at times. And that's where you'll see these strong upward or downward slopes in the fluid buy sell line. So this is something really, uh, you know, that you can apply to any market or time frame. And someone's asking about intraday. Yes, I showed you that. I believe it was a, an hourly chart of Facebook, it can be applied to virtually any time frame, any direction. So if you're an intraday trader, don't worry about it. Now, one of the things a lot of people have uh, problems with is they say, well, Steve, you said that you learned this on the floor. So this is, is strategy four is a day trading technique, right? When I first learned strategy number four, yes, I applied it as a day trading technique because I was on the trading floor in and out of trades in literally five, 10 minutes. But by all means, it doesn't mean that that's the only way to trade it, okay? You can uh, apply it if you're a swing trader. So if you like to look at weekly charts, if you want to look at daily bars but stay in the trade maybe weeks or even months, we show you how to do that. So don't think that it's only set in one time frame or one direction or one market. It virtually transfers over onto anything, okay? Great questions. Thank you so much for asking. And once again, this is a great offer. If you have any questions about the platform, the markets or tech support, or even setting up a payment plan, if you can't come up with the 495, 
call pro trader strategies. They, they have uh, trading consultants manning the phones. Uh, there's no obligation that they would be more than happy to answer any of your questions. But this is a limited time offer. This special nearly 80% discount is not going to last for a long time. So I would jump on this while you can. 495 I, I know that many of you may have had trouble this past week or two with the down markets trying to pick bottoms. You probably lost a lot more than 495 this past week if you were trying to do that. Why not invest in yourself instead of trying to pick tops and bottoms? Why not learn how to trade with this great strategy number four course along with the PTS Primo charting platform, okay? Once again, contact Pro Trader Strategies for any questions. There's absolutely no obligation, but if you're interested, take advantage of this now and you will have yours truly as your a special mentor to answer any questions you may have. Someone who's been trading this for four decades, if you have a problem, I'll be there just as soon as possible to answer any question, okay? As we conclude, I want to say thank you for attending today. Thanks for coming at a special early time on this Wednesday. I wish you the best of luck in trading. Most importantly, as we look at one uh, last view at our disclaimer here, I really hope that most of you will join this strategy number four course along with our platform to take your trading to the next level, okay? Thank you so much. Have a great day, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.